Yes, Downloader is back. It has risen from the ashes like a phoenix. Yes. And it's here to stay. Now, if you were living under a rock or you're not subscribed to my channel, then you probably didn't know the easiest browser for Fire Stick and Android TV Pox was temporarily removed from the Google Play Store. Now, this actually freaked a lot of people out because let's be honest, if Downloader is gone, that means we either have to use a USB stick or we're stuck with the Puffin browser or even worse, Amazon Silk. Why does this exist? It's so bad. But luckily we aren't in a position where that has to happen because it has been re-added into the Google Play Store. Now this video is actually really important because there's a few things you have to do if you have recently added downloader to your Android TV device. I'm also going to quickly break down what happened and why it has been re-added to your device. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below and give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment because I answer all of them within the first hour to two hours of this video going live. And also if you haven't met Freya, you can go follow me on Instagram because there is going to be a million pictures and videos of this pupper. Now, I'm not gonna waste any of your time here. We're gonna do a quick 60 second recap on what happened. So pull out your stopwatch, call me out if I'm wrong. This is what happened to Downloader. Three weeks ago, Downloader was removed from the Google Play Store. Now the reason for this was because an Israeli TV company basically DMCA striked their app. Now this means Google automatically has to remove it from the Google Play Store. There is no if, ands, or buts. Now Google always follows the same protocols. They remove the app, you can file a counter notification, then it's up to the claimant, the initial person that removed your app to then take you to court and fight it in court. Now, because their claims were completely baseless saying downloader lets people access websites online. Now let's stop that timer really quick and laugh at the fact what old ass boomer decided to say that a browser can access the internet. Mind blown. Now, because their claims were baseless, that means after a 10 day waiting period, business days, it is automatically put back in the Google Play Store. Now, this doesn't negate the fact that it did hurt AFTV News's bottom line, and it also hurts their ranking inside of the Google Play Store. So now that we're done with the quick 60 second recap, and by the way, it was very, very close to 60 seconds. Let's go over the information you need to know before you start using Downloader again. So for a lot of you, you may have installed Downloader while it was done via a different method, or you may have in the past. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uninstall the old version to make sure we have the official version installed. And that way, if there are any future updates, you'll automatically get those pushed. So this is just the, the safest way to install it. So just go to your settings. I'm on my Google Chromecast TV right now. Once you're in settings, you're going to move your head here so you can actually see what you're looking at. But we're gonna to go to apps and then we're gonna to go to see all apps. It may look a little different on yours. You're gonna find downloader and then you're going to uninstall just like that. So now go over to your app store. This is on the Google Chromecast. It's gonna look a little different depending on what device you're in, but they're all basically still using the Google Play Store. Type in downloader. Once you have that typed in, it's now gonna bring you to downloader by AFTV News. You can click on that. And now it's easy enough. We can install the official version directly from the app store, clean, fresh, and easy. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're like, damn, I really want to support this guy, you know, he, he, he does good work out here. Then one way of doing that is to purchase a VPN. Now, the thing I'm going to say is this is the best way to get back to me because A, you get something out of it, which I'll explain what it will give you, but you can also support me because I get a massive kickback from them. Even if you guys cancel and get all of your money back, I still get a kickback, so it's like a win-win. Now, what can it help you with? Well, it can help unlock Netflix, Prime Video, all these different streaming apps because you can access content from other countries. You can also protect your data so it even hides what you're doing from your internet service provider since everything is going through their servers. Now, the link is down below in the description. You get my personalized discount, which is going to give you three extra months free and a 30 day money back guarantee. So again, guys, if you use it for 10 days and you're like, nah, this isn't for me, you can cancel it. They'll give you all your money back. No questions asked. Super simple. So it's like pretty much a free trial. So that's everything for today, guys. You guys are awesome like always and uh, go follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later.